Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are going to go shopping at Nordstrom today, but since there is no Nordstrom within like 400 miles of me, we're just gonna go online. I recently posted a video talking all about my favorite winter shoes and boots, which kind of had me thinking about the winter boot situation, especially snow boots in particular. So I was just cruising on Nordy's website and oh my goodness, there were so many cute snow boots. I have my computer here with me, obviously. So we're just gonna go through my wish list. Everything I show you today is gonna be listed and linked down below, starting off with this pair from Sorel. Oh my gosh, like, oh no, there's only a few left too, great. Okay, so I love this style of boot. I think they're so cute. Plus for me, I typically default to like a brown or a black boot, so I thought this olive tone with the gray accents was super cute. I love Sorel boots. I've had great luck with them. They keep my feet warm. If you are like me and your feet are always freezing, look into Sorel's. But aren't these adorable? Like, I just think they're super fun, especially the color scheme too. And I love the fact that they are waterproof as well. So moving right along to a little bit taller of a boot, this looks to me probably close to knee high, maybe like upper mid calf. This is from Santana, Canada have never tried this brand but i love the vibe of their snow boots this is so cute i'm seeing now it doesn't have great reviews why doesn't it it's a faux fur waterproof boot i mean look oh my gosh so cute love the tread i want to read the reviews what are the reviews saying oh they run small and the color is off okay so very critical out there of these boots i think they're adorable love this chestnut color with the red laces and the faux fur trim i think they are so fun because honestly like winter is going to be long and hard especially for us being here in the mountains and i want to start accumulating a winter boot snow boot collection <laughs> like i literally want to just go all out okay so next up is the moon boot i feel like we're gonna have mixed reviews on how we feel about these boots i love them only a few left of these as well gosh darn it i love the white i think these are so ridiculous looking that they're adorable <laughs> another one with the faux fur trim that tends to be one of my favorites and I want to know down below in the comments have any of us tried the moon boot out already these are like a thing right now I think they're darling I mean even just with like a great pair of leggings think about it like an oversized chunky white sweater I'm all about it I'm so sad there's only a couple left so next up on my wish list is another brand or another style rather from Sorel. I tend to love Sorel, their style. So you're going to see a lot of Sorel <laughs> in this video. These have, oh wow, almost five star reviews. Love this look. It's a lace up booty. I love the minimalist silhouette. It's super cool. It has a really great rubber sole as well, which is important, especially for me living in the mountains. But any of us, like honestly, snow conditions icy conditions we need to have a good rubber sole and I love the gray tone with the orange laces is that not adorable okay so it's got a little bit of a platform and a heel I like them I think they're fun um, like I said for me even just having the orange laces is like wow girl you're going wild because typically I just go with black on black I'm sure that's no big surprise to any of you Another one from Santana, Canada. As you can see, like I tend to like the same style of snow boots, but I just think that these are really cute as well. Obviously with that brown tone, just something a little bit different than black. It is a neutral. I like it when they have that white trim on the sole as well. Super fun. Faux fur trim. Um, also not the greatest reviews from Santana, Canada. Let's see, what's the problem? What are people griping about with this one? Um, it has a nice little platform and a smallish heel. Okay, so you know, two people gave it five stars. Uh, fit is odd. That was one of the lower star reviews. Too short and tight. That's from someone that wears a solid size 11. Um, looks like they run small. So just keep that in mind. These tend to run a little bit small, so you might want to size up one. I just love them though. Love that brown tone. Browns are like having their moment right now, you know what I mean? 
All right, moving on, another one from Sorel. Love this look. This kind of reminds me of like the Sperry, the classic Sperry wrote. I can't talk. The classic Sperry rain boots. This is waterproof. Another faux shearling lined. Wow, 189 four and a half star reviews. Not bad. Love that quilted look. So this looks like it's a gray and a black with that tan accent on the laces and also the rubber sole, which I like. It gives it a nice dynamic look. Something other than black on black on black, which I said tends to be my default. Fault. Um, so I really like those. All right, this style here from Santana Canada. Only a few left of these as well. Wow, people are buying out the snow boots at Nordstrom uh, pretty darn fast. Obviously, you can tell I like a faux shearling or a faux fur trim. Just think it's cute. And I'm really drawn to the colorful laces. Um, not like too crazy, but you know what I mean? You have like a neutral colored boot and then like a fun lace color just to add some zing. These are waterproof. Oh, and there's a thermal insole for added warmth which is very important. Muy importante, especially in the colder weather. Another one from Sorel. So this tends to be, like I said, this would represent really well my default when it comes to snow boots. Black on black on black. We are blacked out. Although the laces do have some white in them, so that's that adds a little bit of dynamic something. <laughs> dynamic, yeah, dynamic style. Black and white laces in my book, that's dynamic. Love the quilted look of these as well. Waterproof and insulated. They've got a great tread. Wow, those would be fantastic for the inclement weather. And they also had really nice reviews. Another one from Sorel. I told you, be warned, I love Sorel. These remind me of that first pair, that gray and the olive green. Oh, look at these, you guys. These are so cute. Again, I'm thinking like, what am I wearing with leggings, oversized sweater, an oversized puffer jacket? Like, if I'm going to survive and go through another winter, I am bound and determined <laughs> to have like the best winter wardrobe. I literally am putting like all my effort into building out my winter wardrobe. Great reviews, 106, four and a half star reviews. Um, lightweight feel, which is interesting because these have like a really nice substantial sole um insulated waterproof perfect fashion and function love the look of those those are super cute and another one from sorel i told you i love sorel but these are more of like a um, lager style boot which i tend to love but i was drawn to the brown color because i have lots of black um, these are cute these would look cute with leggings, jeans, um, for sure. Another one that's waterproof, great reviews, um, leather. And then it has that nice little added collar too for a little bit of comfort. Um, let's see, what else do they say? Utilitarian comfort, yes, absolutely. Nice and minimal, good, robust lug sole as well. So those are another pair that are super on trend, yet they're timeless as well, you know what I mean? Okay, so moving right along through my wish list at Nordstrom. Okay, another one from Sorel. In fact, the next five are all gonna be from Sorel, so forgive me, but <laughs> I just think they're so cute. I love these. So these aren't boots per se. These are waterproof sneakers, but how much fun. I've talked before about how much I love a high top sneaker in the colder months. This one has a fleece lining as well as 100 grams worth of insulation and foam cushioning. These would look really cute with leggings, especially with the black laces. And I love, love, love the neutral color scheme of those. Oh my gosh. So these got 47 five-star reviews dang okay those are high on my list for sure there goes my cuckoo have said so often i don't know why i haven't learned my lesson about filming at noon okay here we go with sorel again black on black on black high line lace up combat boots the combat boot definitely having a moment right now i love these because they're 
a little bit softer than a traditional combat boot. Like you can see the feminine lines on this. So it's just a little bit more rounded. Love that lug sole. I think those are really cute. These also got 43, four and a half star reviews. So I like that. I think those are sweet, especially if you want to wear them with like a long, long sleeve maxi dress. Those would look super cute. And then this pair from Sorel. Um, <laughs> I really love Sorel. These are waterproof, but I love the neutral tone of these. I love the brown, the black, the white, the black and white laces. It's just so cute. Oh my gosh, like this literally makes me want to go through the snow and not be hating life. Um, I really like the look of these. They kind of have that quilted design as well. Um, yeah, and I love that substantial tread. That's one thing I've learned uh, the hard way, especially living here in the mountains, I cannot do with treads that are no good or like flim flamsy. They have to be substantial, like intense treads. Okay, this next pair, I have been eyeing these forever. I was recently at Shields, tried them on in person, and the salesman's like, what do you think of these? I said, these are absolutely ridiculous, but I love them. So I can't wait to hear what you guys think because I think it's gonna be a mixed bag. How do we feel about the Joan of Arctic waterproof wedge lace up booty? I think these are so flipping cool i love the fact that you have a wedge boot love the gray laces love that monster tread oh my gosh these are so <laughs> fabulous like i said they're so ridiculous looking that they're fabulous 174 and a half star reviews let's see what people are saying about this Oh my gosh, in the reviews, one of the girls wearing them has them on with her wedding dress. I love that. Okay, let's see. Um, boot is fantastic. This is my fourth pair. Love them, comfortable and cute. Okay, people are loving on these boots. I'm so glad because I love them. <laughs> I think they're really cute. One of these days, I'm just gonna pull the trigger and get them because I think they are phenomenally, phenomenally, phenomenally adorable. Another pair from Sorel. This is a brown pair, velvet tan. Oh, only a couple left of these as well. So you see like that faux fur lining, so sweet. Love the brown laces with the brown uh, that looks like suede and then the white sole. How clean is that look? I love it. See, one of the things I like too about snow boots is that they're getting really cute, right? Like in the past, snow boots were so bulky and ugly. They were all about function. There was not a hint. <laughs> fashion in snow boots and they've really come a long way and this pair again I like the fact that it's something different than black but it is a neutral so it's gonna go with so many different things all right the next row obviously more Sorrells what can I say it is what it is but look at this gray pair I really like this so it's an alternative to black still close to black still in like the black family it's gray it adds like I said something dynamic to your outfit, especially if you're going with like black on black on black. Like, let's think about this. You've got your black leggings on, your black puffer jacket, maybe a black puffer vest, a black chunky sweater, and your gray boots. <laughs> So you're still totally neutral, but it's something a little bit different just to break up the look. These are waterproof and insulated. And it's another style that has that quilted uh, detail to it, which seems to be something that Sorel really enjoys doing with their boots. So these next two from Sorel, one is like a short version, one is a tall version. It's basically the same boot. Here is the short version. Look at these, so cute. Love, again, the neutral color scheme, the black laces, the tan boot, the black sole that has a little bit of tan to the sole as well. You got nice grip on that sole. Um, 363, four and a quarter star reviews. These are waterproof. Love the lining. These look super cozy. And I love the little Sorel 
logo, the bear. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So that was the shorter pair. And then the other pair is basically the same one, except it's a little bit taller. So I think for me, I like the taller look just because we get some snow here in the mountains. So it's nice to have a taller shaft to keep me protected. But oh my gosh, how darling are these? I just love them. I love these boots so much. 276 four-star reviews. The price isn't bad. Let's see, is that genuine leather? It looks like it. It looks like it. Yep, leather. Leather shoe, leather boot rather, rubber sole, awesome. So it's not a synthetic sole. That's another thing. Keep an eye out for synthetic soles. They are no bueno in the cold weather, the snow and the ice. You're gonna be slip sliding all around and you're also gonna make that annoying clacky sound when you walk across the floor. You want a rubber sole. That's what keeps your shoes quiet. <laughs> and they also give you much better grip, much better grip on snow, ice, sidewalks that are icy, roads that are icy, the whole shebang. Okay, so these next two basically look very similar with minor differences. So this one, um, I like the platform style sole. Oh my gosh, you guys, like I literally want to just spend $2,000 on snow boots right now and just not even worry about it. <laughs> That is my dream in life right now if I could do anything that's what I'd be doing look at these so they have the platform which I love so something like a little bit different they're sweet I love everything about these love the black shearling lining love the um, sorry Sherpa lining love the black and white laces love the whole style of these so these are like super minimal real laid back oh wow 21 five star reviews these boots are it perfect shoes to wear in alaska wow okay so that's a good testimonial so the next pair basically looks a very similar to those with some minor differences minor 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 differences so this one has a faux fur lining uh, also has a platform sole. The laces are a little bit different, but the style's pretty much the same. These got a little, let's see, 147 four and a quarter star, star reviews, so still good. But these are super cute as well. Like I said, I love, love, love this style boot. And if you are petite, if you are shorter like me, you're vertically challenged, I'm only five foot four and a half. So when you go with a boot, and especially if you're wearing a boot with leggings, if you go with black leggings, and then a black boot, it's gonna help your legs look taller. It's gonna elongate the legs, it's a beautiful effect. Um, that's one of the reasons why, honestly, I tend to default to black snow boots because they don't have a heel often, so I'm always afraid I look stumpy. So that's why I tend to default to black because they just elongate my legs and make me look taller. Last boot to show you, oh my gosh, there's only a couple of these left. I might have to just get these and bite the bullet, they're not on sale, darn it. Okay, these are the waterproof boots from Royal Canadian. I talked about these in my video I mentioned before, my winter boot and shoe video. These are the ones I have my little heart set on. I know the price is insane, but that is a genuine shearling trim. They're lined with merino wool. Royal Canadian is the real deal. Like these people, <laughs> they know how to make a great snow boot, a great winter boat boot. So I have no qualms about this being a great investment, but I was hoping they would go on sale. There's only a few left in my size, so I might just have to get them. Um, but they are fabulous. I've been looking for a boot that is, like I said, a little bit higher. I want black on black on black, like a blacked out boot. Those are impossible to find. So that is it for all of the shoes I have saved, actually winter boots rather, I have saved to my wish list at Nordstrom. But I hope you guys had fun shopping with me today at Nordstrom. I hope you got a little bit of inspiration when it comes to picking out a snow boot or two for yourselves let me know down below which ones were your favorites but in any event thank you guys so much for spending your time with me today i hope you're having a good one and i'll see you in the next video bye